Okay, we're going to look at, all, again, the principle of linear impulse and momentum, but now for a system of particles. We've looked at systems in chapter 13 and chapter 14. The principle is exactly the same. Okay? So, say now you've got a bunch of particles, and these particles are interacting with each other. Um, our system is defined really by us. Right? We define what our system is. If I want my system to include all the particles, then all the interactions between the particles are internal forces. All the forces that are acting between these two particles, these two particles, they become internal. And we need to identify which are external to our system. That's very important. Okay? So, what are the internal forces, or the external forces, and what are internal forces? You must be able to identify it, because only, r recall, recall when we had the principle of um, work and energy. We had half mv1 squared. Say now, we were also looking for at a system. So, it's the sum of all the kinetic energies of all the particles, plus the sum of all the work done equals the sum of all the kinetic energies of all the particles at 2. And recall that this term over here, this, the forces that were doing work, we were only considering external forces to the system. Okay? If the forces were internal, then they did not, we did not consider that they did any work. Okay? They were cancelled out. Internal forces were cancelled out. The same over here. We have the sum of all the momentum. Okay? Or the, the momentum of each particle. We, we sum them up at state 1. And then we identify only the external forces that are acting on our system. And we only consider the impulses due to the external forces. And then we calculate the, the sum, or we have the momentum of each particle at state 2. Okay? So, we only consider impulses of the external forces. Um, we will do some examples on this uh, later. But that's basically the, the most important principle. It's applied to all the particles, and we only consider the external forces to do to uh, apply any impulses. Okay. Um, let's see here. This equation states that the initial linear momentum of the system plus the impulses of all the external forces acting on the system from T1 to T2 is equal to the system's final linear momentum. Alright? Okay, so I think that's okay for now. See you in the next video.